can I just ask you a... Excuse me. What do you think about the state of the school toilets? I can change them if you just give me an answer. Come on, it'll take one minute. Come on. Can I just ask you a few questions about the school? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Yeah, they just stand there a minute. What for? So I can interview about the box. <laughs> Leave it alone, will you? What? As soon as you show Mrs. Bastion and the governor's this, then they'll be forced to do something. Hey, they'll only end up where everyone else does. What do you mean? With us in detention, okay? Oh, well, we spent the whole school term in detention, so, you know. Yeah, well, it's not fair, is it? It's not right. There's a lot of things in life that are unfair. Yeah, and there's a lot of things I can't do anything about. But I want to do something about the toilets, want to make a difference. It won't make any difference, Tugger. Yeah, well, what do you suggest we do then? Oh, I don't know, we just... Don't go during school hours. Don't be. Hang on. Uh, just stand there a minute and say what you just said. Oh, Tug! Go on! Where have you been? Mum couldn't find my pee kit. So she's giving you the money to buy a new one. No way, you said I had to check the changing rooms. Why? It'll be long gone. That's what I said. Who'd want to nick one of them? No one likes wearing them anyway. Yeah, but while we all have to, it'd be worth nicking. I promised Mum I'd look. I'll come with you now if you want. Waste the time! We don't go during school hours. Yeah, yeah, that's good, but just try and say it more like, um, due to the state of the toilets, I am uh, not going to use them. Due to the state of the toilets, I've decided I'm not going to use them. And how are you going to do that? Well, um, don't drink anything for starters. Yeah, and you realise how bad that is for you? Uh, no, Tugger, I don't. Yeah, well, if you don't drink enough water, you become tired, you get headaches. Tugger... <clears throat> Just have a punchline. What do you mean? I preferred it when we spent our free time, you know, having a laugh. Yeah, and that's all people think I'm good for. So what's so wrong with that? Because for once, for once in my life, I want to be taken seriously. And this isn't about having a laugh. What do you want? Just a bargain with you. And dreams. Get lost. You don't really mean that, though, do you? If you didn't want the attention, then why'd you stuff your socks up your jumper then? What do you expect wearing a bra like that? Do you look bothered? Well, I would be. Yeah, but then again, you don't look as good as me, would you? Don't worry, sis, I'm old enough to look after myself, you know. Just stop pointing that in my face. Yeah, like we could afford to repair the damage. Uh-huh, funny. Nah, it's not supposed to be funny. This is a serious political protest. Pathetic. If you want to see a real political protest, make sure you're on the playing fields late this morning. Oh, don't tell me. You think the peak kids are that sexist that you're going to make a protest? Oh, how very original. Actually, you'd be kicking yourself when you see this. Something you could never do. And it's something that's never been seen in this school before. Well, wow, like a girl being more interested in sport rather than fashion. I'm just trying to wind you up there, Tuck. No, I'll give you a clue. Something that chickens wear. Feathers? No, before they go in the oven. Before it goes in the oven? All right? Yeah, you? Yeah, I am now. I've seen you. <sighs> you look really good today. Yeah. So what are you doing after school? Um, or should that be what are we doing after school? Because I know what I'd like to do. What? Just hang out. Just the two of us somewhere private. What do you say? You fancy it? Fancy what? Get to know each other a bit better. Um, not now. No, obviously not now. No. After school. A sister. Oh, right. Later. Can't wait. What about him? Um, not sure. What's it to you? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to be nosy. Forgot you were all grown up. Karen, I didn't... You know when chickens go in the oven, they just go in the skin. She wouldn't, would she? Nah, she wouldn't. And she might. No, but maybe we should just be there just... To, you know, later check it out? Yeah. Yeah. It's not here. Told you. Trials property, I suppose. Like anyone's gonna hand it in. Sorry. What? Not before. I'm sorry. Sorry? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, you're right. Shouldn't have won this bra. I kind of sent the wrong message to the wrong person. Look, I told you, most of the boys are on air are leches. Right, so if we go home and change, you're gonna come for me? Yeah, I'll say you at the dentist. All right, thanks. Oh, look, Tanya, I've been meaning to ask you. Is everything else all right? You've just been acting really strange and been really quiet these last couple of days. Like you've got something on your mind or something. Yeah, you've just got a lot to sort out. It's a big day. Oh, yeah, what's happening? Just loads of work, the usual. Right. Are you sure it's not about Emma? Must be a bit of a shock, your best friend moving to the other side of the world. Especially after Annie leaving last year. It's alright to be upset about it, you know. You can talk to me about it if you want. Thanks. Da, you 
you share with yours? Positive. What kept you there? I had to sort through loads of other stuff to find it. What sort of stuff? Smelly clothes? Yeah, mostly. And quite a few scrunchies with handfuls of monkey hair still attached. There was also a tiny radio. You know, credit card size. And a personal CD player. Did it have a name on? He wants one of those now. I uh, don't got one of those cool new iPods. No, and it looked like me. Can you describe it in detail? Making that? Of course. Why? I have an idea. Why? Wow. I don't think I like the sound of it. You haven't heard it. I can guess. I don't want to start stealing things from lost property. No, it's not stealing when nobody else wants it, is it? Look. Just look at that. What? No cues. That's because this is a stuffed toilet, OK? Come on. Funny how their toilet is still working, isn't it? You know, take him on his hide in there. Yeah, he also got caught and put on an incinerator duty. That's it. What? No. Watch my face, read my lips. No more detentions. No worries. All we need to do to push this campaign forward is to keep the teachers on our side. Well, it's not like they're against us. Oh, I know that. But if their toilets were as busy as ours, then they'd be as angry as us. No chance. There's like 900 more of us than them. What are you doing with that? Just making a film about the state of the school toilets, miss. Really? Where's your script? No, it's more of a documentary than a drama, miss. What, do you have a scene breakdown? A story treatment? You must have some sort of plan. Hmm. Clearly not. I see you're just wandering about causing mayhem with a camera as some sort of jape. No, miss. Come on, lads, to your first lesson. Make haste, make haste. Why doesn't anyone take me seriously? Uh, where exactly have you been? Dentist. Good, just checking. No need to look so worried. Karen did tell me. All right. Come on, get changed as quick as you can. Yes. Sir. Tanya, what have your recent games kit misdemeanors taught you? Sorry, sir. The school's unbending policy on the subject is? Oh, that skirts should be no more than two inches above the knee. That socks are to be worn at all times. And that shirts should be loose fitting and not exposed midriff. Don't carry on. No, no, that's fine. It appears you now understand the rules and can see that all possible loopholes have been closed. Yes, sir. You know what you've got to do? Suppose we get caught. We won't as long as Andrea remembers what to say. Sammy's sorry, so she should go and ask for it. I can't keep going in the secretary's office saying I've lost stuff. It will look too suspicious. She's right. Go on. Do you think he saw us? So what if he did? We're only standing outside the secretary's office. But him and his brother took all the blame for the exchange scam, and I'm sure they know it was us. That Mui was always hanging around when we were collecting. So, as long as Taylor and the teachers don't find out it was us who skinned the profits, who cares? Petitions and polls are all very well, but nothing ever changes except by direct action. Look at all the famous women in history, like the suffragettes, Mrs Pankhurst, not them lot. And then there's that lady, what's her face? Godiva. If they can do it, then so can we. It's time to change the course of history. So who's this lady Godiva? You know. No. The one who voted for the city on horseback. Wow. Oh, and naked. So she really is gonna do it. Yeah, they're gonna clean their pull in the buff. <sighs> well done. We were worried. What took you so long? The secretary made me wait while she answered the phone and stuff. <laughs> Would she believe you when you said it was yours? Yeah. I described it to her and she got it for me. She didn't even ask me anything. I'm not sure where it was, but what I do know, she rode bareback through town in front of everyone. I thought you said she was going to be totally bare, not just her back. Yeah, here they come. And get ready for a nightfall. OK. Start recording now. Now! What? She was going naked. And what she actually said was that you were going to be wearing what chickens wear. Tin foil. If anyone asks who's behind it, just give them a name. Oh, come on, let's just get out of here. No, I'm gone. Let's watch your show, Dad. What on earth do you think you're doing? Oh, you ready for game, sir? You have been warned. And warned and warned again. Yet here you are, deliberately flaunting and breaking every dress code rule in the book. Actually, sir, I think you're fine. We're not breaking any of the rules. Skirts are two inches above the knee. Tops are loose-fitted and no midriffs are exposed. All of you, go and get changed now or you'll find yourself in Mrs. Bassinger's office after school trying to explain this to her. Where are we going? Don't listen to me, he's just bluffing. He doesn't say anywhere in here what it should be made of. Don't be ridiculous. You know full well that the school rules mean proper sports kit. 
Now go and get changed immediately and report to Mrs. Bassner's office after school. Looks like you're in for a roasting, Tanoi. Sir, while she's dressed up like a turkey, I'd like to ask our year out what you're going to do about the state of the school toilet. Will you get lost? There's our first official quote. No, it wasn't! Perhaps you'd like to give us one then. Get it out of my face! Temper, temper, just because your protest was rubbish. I'll oh, be fair, Tog. I wasn't rubbish. It was foiled. At least I got people's attention, which is more than your stupid film will do. I just got a point there, mate. That's giving me an idea. Uh-oh. How we can get the whole school to listen to us. Johnson, Tanner, if you're not in this field within 30 seconds... Oh, come on, we've got to get going before we get another detention. Whatever happens, we're not going to get another detention. <sighs> Missing your little sister that much, you decided to cop off with her best mate, eh? Shut it. Yeah, I've seen you. And actually, I don't blame you. Fwoah, there's plenty of it. What was all that about? Ignore him. You know what he's like. Is that first official quote? No, it wasn't. Perhaps you'd like to give us one then. Will you just get it out of my face? Perfect, let's use that. Never mind that a sec. What? I've thought of a way we can get the teachers to think the same as we do. Talk? All I'm suggesting is that we interview them, get their opinion on the situation. But I thought it was what the film was all about. Yeah, but the radio's more immediate, isn't it? Come on. We can't have Tanya crowing about her stunt all week. We're still meeting after school. Oh, I don't know if I can. Malik is making me see Bassinger at the protest. You naughty girl. And what about after that? Well, I don't know when I finish, do I? Perhaps you should just leave it till another night. I mean, there's no rush, is there? Is everything all right between you and me, Tanya? It's just... you seem a bit... Tanya? Not again. Well, sorry. Not interrupting anything, am I right? No. Well, oh, thanks for covering for me about the dentist. What is it with you and Bass? Every time I see... Oh, Karen, I'd love to stop and chat. I've got to find a way to get rid of a load of tinfoil, right? Yes, sold it. Top price, seven quid. Turn it off. They'll want a discount if the earplugs are green. What do you mean you sold it? I told the secretary I'd lost it. I got it back. I thought it was mine now. No, the plan is to go into the office and claim stuff then sell it on the exchange. But I like it. You reckon they were too heavy to carry around? I like the song. Then just nick the CD, stupid. We could just give it back to this property. You know what, Summit? I'm beginning to think you don't have much in common with me and Andrew anymore. Maybe you want to hang around with your scabby mate Alison instead. Yeah. No, I like hanging around with you two. Prove it. How? You do the drop. What, on my own? Yeah, they said meet them in C11. But if you don't want to, give it here. Now what? It's like fishing. We just gotta wait. A second, I just have a quick word. Um, not now. I'm in a I'll bit of. Put the mic on. Say, so, uh, just about the state of the students' toilets compared to the teachers. <laughs> not now. Not now. I'm in a bit of a rush. Oh, this is a waste of time. No, we've got important. We'll get them on the way out. Miss, can I just have a quick word? You're right. It is like fishing. You reckon? Yeah. They both be the most boring radio programmes you can possibly imagine. No, we just need to be a bit more pushy. Don't let them wriggle off the hook too easily. What do you want me to do? Knock them over a head and Shh. put them in a basket? He's coming. Say, can I just have that word now? <sighs> Everything about the toilet situation that needs to be said has been said, Johnson. Uh, but, sir... But, sir, nothing. No, but, seriously, if everything would have been said, then it would have been sorted, wouldn't it? What's this? It's for our radio programme. All the other teachers have agreed to be interviewed, haven't they, Andy? Uh, oh, well, uh, fire away. Just a few simple questions. So, do you think the situation regarding the lack of proper toilet facilities has become intolerable? It's certainly unsatisfactory. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what would happen if the staff toilets weren't working? I see where this is heading. Let me reassure you that we've done everything we can. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm on playground duty. Or should I say, Portaloo crowd control? Well, that went to plan, didn't it? Early days. We're never going to get what we want. Give me a chance. Excuse me a second, I just have a quick word. Come on. It's only me. It just made me jump what's all. Who did you think it was? No one. Is it Buzz? Is he pestering you? No. So why are you avoiding him? I'm not. I've just seen you. 
What exactly is going on between you and it? Well, we're just friends. Oh, come off it. Stop it. I, I didn't start it. Well, neither did I. Look, I'm only looking out for you. You're far too young to be with someone. Well, yeah, he else. doesn't think so. Oh, so you are more than friends. I didn't say that. So what are you seeing? Kevin, the bell went ages ago. Well, are you? I've already missed morning registration. Do you want me to miss the afternoons as well? Look, I'm just asking you a simple question. Why? Are you jealous or something? No. Don't lie. Do you remember when I found your journal? That was years ago. Yeah, but true love never dies. Oh, leave it. No, I think you're the one that's just leave it. No, I won't. Look, you're my little sister and you've been through a lot. The last thing you need is to be messed about by a lad that's loads older than you. Where are you going? Well, if you won't tell me, maybe he will. Karen! <laughs> Oh, look, it's the Warner Brothers. What are you boys doing still loafing round here? Well, we've, uh, we've taken your advice, miss. We've uh, planned it all out. Got a few questions to ask you. Less ambitious, just a little piece for the radio. It's only a five-minute programme, so could we ask you a couple of questions? Oh, all right, as long as you've thought it through. Oh, we have, miss. Oh, we have. Now, if I may pin this microphone onto your lapel... All well, quick as you can now, lads. We need to make haste. Okay, so, uh, do you think it's fair that the staff have to use the nice, clean working toilets and we have to use a port -a loose Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. In that it would be silly to make the staff use port -a loose when there isn't a problem with the facilities. OK. Um, so when do you think the pupils' toilets should be working again? As soon as possible. Obviously. And uh, do you think that the, all the pupils should be able to use the staff toilets as well? No, of course not. OK, thanks, miss. My pleasure. Oh, wait, she's stuck in the mic. Where are you going? Let's get it back. No, it'll be more useful for us where it is. Oh, yeah, well, I suppose at least that's something. What do you mean? Well, the interview. It's rubbish. What? It was perfect. <laughs> what are you listening to? All you need to do is swap a few of the answers round and it's a revolution. Come on, no time to lose. Make haste, make haste. What do you want? CD player. You bought it? I bid for it. You got the money then? No, I'm skint. Well, then you can't... What? I know a little scam union makes a pulling. You owe me and my bro big time. Tell them this is just the start. Uh, Martin, I think we should go and get some fresh air. Do you? Come on. Well, this has to go out straight away. Oh, I'll stay out for you. Will you be able to do that before it? No, I thought you could take responsibility for that. Come on, Martin. OK, is it on? Yeah. Green Chill. It's a special broadcast. Please stop what you're doing and listen carefully. Mrs Rawlinson, do you think that the, all the pupils should be able to use the staff toilets as well? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. OK. Um, so, when do you as think... As soon as possible. We need to make haste. Students can now use the staff toilets. It's official. So what are you waiting for? Uh, what? Well, don't you think that's going a little bit too far? Well, how do you mean? You said you were going to make your folks proud of you. Yeah, well, I've got to be proud of myself before they can be proud of me. I'm sorry, I don't follow. <sighs> well, if I'd let Tanner get one over on me, I wouldn't have been able to lift my head up. I know my stunts well better than theirs any day. Come on. Why are you still in it? It was him. What was him? That sick plumber bully. Max. What about him? It was him who made the bid. He just took it. Without paying? And you just let him? I couldn't stop him. I still can't believe you just let him have it. I don't know whether I can trust her to do anything on her own anymore. It looks like everyone's taking this role in some advice. You are not allowed to use the staff toilets. I repeat, pupils are not allowed to use staff facilities. Get your lessons as quickly as you can. We better get back to the radio station. What? In case there's any fallout. Mrs. Rawlinson, a word, please. Now? Up at GCSE class. Yes, now. Can I ask what it's about? She hasn't got a clue, has she? students they could use the staff toilets. I did no such thing. <laughs> oh, yes, she Just did. You <laughs> on the radio. Sounds like a wonderful Just interview to me. <laughs> You said that you thought all the pupils should use the staff toilets as soon as possible. I did not... Oh, <laughs> I see what's happened, Mrs. Passenger. I've become the victim of a gross mis-editing. I trust you'll deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch and learn. 
That's how to stage a protest. You had a few lousy kids watching you. I had the whole school listening to me. To Mrs. Rawlinson, actually. Did you two know this was a bogus broadcast? No, miss. No, miss. No, I'm sorry I asked you. You were two of the most trustworthy pupils in this school. It's not like you to lie. I wasn't. But you must have seen them sniggering when they were editing the interview. I thought they were just cutting it down. Are you saying you knew what they were doing? Yeah, I could see it a mile off. Why didn't you try and stop them? It's not like you to go along with something irresponsible and then lie to Mrs. Bassinger. I suppose. I think it's Spencer. He didn't know anything about it. No, I mean his effect on you. You've changed. I haven't. Yes, you have. You're becoming just like him. Quick! She's coming! Detention. Oh, miss! In fact, detention, detention all, all week. week! See what I told you? I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, that's the last plan of yours I'm ever gonna go along with. I thought you'd have come to that conclusion years ago. At least it wasn't all about me and what I look like. Like your silly scam. Patrick Johnson! Seeing as detention is obviously not enough of a deterrent, you will see Mrs. Bassinger after school. Oh, I don't know what yours are making. You've got to see it and all. Right, sorted. It's me done for the day. Are you off home then? Uh, not sure. I'm not going to hang around here any longer than I have to, though. Yeah, and who are you hanging around with these days? What are you on about? In a nutshell, Tanya. What? I know what's going on. You want to step out of me, then? Oh, don't try and act too cool to be true. Karen. Look, it's a simple question. What's going on? Nothing. Look, it might not be important to you, but she's my sister. She's my little sister. Like, I don't know that. Right, so have you not stopped to ask yourself what you're doing with someone in year 10? Karen, nothing has gone on. Yet. Just chill, will you? Look, I don't like it, all right. All right, and what do you want me to do about it? Well, I'd like you to stop seeing her. You might not like it, Karen, but face it, there's nothing you can do about it. So you're saying you won't? Like, it's up to me. Tanya might be younger than us, but she's her own person. No one tells her what to do. Yeah, but you could dump her. I could, but I'm not going to. So you are going out of her? I like her. I want to be with her. She wants to be with me. And there's nothing you can do about it. Both of you again outside my door. I will say this once more and once only. There are proper channels for protests in this school. And if you do not follow these from now on, then I shall take this as an indication that you no longer wish to come to this school. This is your final warning. Do you understand? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Patrick, what would your father make of your antics? He'd be proud of me for standing up for something I believe in. Oh, really? Well, in that case, I should be very interested indeed to see how he responds to the letter I've written outlining the situation and my displeasure at your behaviour today. No, Miss, you can't do that. Really, I'm, I'm sorry. You can give me all the attention you want all year. I'm afraid it's too late, Patrick. It's already in the post. Oh, what were you going? About to be walking around with his full reputation intact, what will people be saying about you? Payback. I know a kid whose dad's been sacked and he's ended up living with a gym.